The first signs of spring. But hang on, it's only February. And crocuses like this shouldn't be here till March. Now, thanks to climate change, many flowers are arriving almost a month early. And that means gardeners are having to adapt. I know that the weather here is going to be extremes of heat and wet. So my choices about what I plant are, are changing. And I think it's a report I was, uh, I was introduced to suggested that the weather here in 50 years time would be like Barcelona. Is that bad? <laughs> it's got its upsides and its downsides, definitely. Now they may look beautiful, but if plants flower too early and are then hit by a frost, that could kill them off. And that then has a knock-on effect for birds and insects that feed on the pollen. Visitors here at Ham House in London have noticed something is definitely going on. I've noticed that things are, do seem to come out earlier. I haven't approached it particularly scientifically, but behind me you can see the daffodils. The blossoms have been out earlier, the wisteria's come out a lot earlier. Um, daffodils are all out where it's used to be March. Researchers at the University of Cambridge examined more than 400 plant species and found flowering dates in the UK have moved a month earlier since the 1980s, something that should concern us all. What we are now seeing is what's called ecological mismatch. We've got flowers blooming too early, insects not ready to pollinate them, birds nesting early, but then there's nothing for their fledglings to feed on. And the result of that could be mass biodiversity loss. Not a sexy word, but something that is really important. We all enjoy the sight of a beautiful flower. But if you see one of these in winter, global warming is probably to blame. Leila Hayes, 5 News. Mm.